Michelle, tell us about your first encounter with extraterrestrial life forms. Probably my first conscious encounter was when I was 18, which is about 10 years ago now, and I could feel lots of um, presences around me and they seemed to have their hands on me and I could smell a very distinctive smell. It smelled like dank jungle vegetation, um, quite putrid, like decaying vegetation. I mean, you were in this, uh, like a subconscious state just before sleep? I was in a very much a conscious state, so it wasn't a subconscious state. I was very much aware of being awake. So what did the creature actually look like? Reptilian, like a dinosaur, green, scaly skin, rather devoid of emotion. I guess the creature was fairly tall. I didn't want to look at the face. Can you explain to us how you actually communicated with these creatures? Was it like talking like we are now? It was almost like a telepathic, well, I would say it'd be a telepathic conversation. Uh, what they said to me basically was like downloading of information about how fear controls us. We are totally controlled by fear. Where do you think that these creatures actually exist? Are they from Earth? Are they... What actually are the creatures? I think these creatures don't exist on this physical reality that we call Earth. I believe they uh, exist in another dimension. It's really interesting because scientists are starting to realise that reality is not reality. We could be living in the Matrix. This could all be a dream. How time is perhaps not linear. You know, there's... it's time perhaps does not exist. There is a level of existence where there is all time. You can actually be in the past, present, future at the same point in time. And not only that, you can be everywhere, but nowhere at the same. I mean, these are kind of like Eastern mystical sort of um, points and stuff like that. Interestingly, many of them initially are fearful because they don't know what they're experiencing, not necessarily because of what's happened. So that to isolate the fear, is it them or is it me fearful because I don't know what's going on? When they actually get to understand it, many of them actually change how they, they view the experience and many say they feel a love coming from the beings and a sense of almost kinship with some of them. Some of them will say, look, you know, I feel they're more like family than my human family almost. Well, let's talk about the reptilian life forms that you've seen. Um, when I've encountered them, I've more felt their presence around me. Um, sort of blurry images of them that I've had have been them having a fairly elongated um, head, um, narrowing down at the bottom and having teeth, um, quite sharp pointed teeth and quite narrow slit eyes. Do the reptilian life forms have a particular language? Most of the communication I've felt from them has been uh, through thought transference. Um, if I was to make some sounds, which I can probably do, that um, would emit the sort of frequencies that I get from the reptilians, I can definitely do that. Um, it'll just take me a moment to feel the energy. Quite a harsh, um, yeah, quite a harsh sort of vibration, really. Usually, when I feel them around, I feel that they are more observing and curious about the nature of our existence. Sometimes there is a, a sexual encounter with them as well, which we don't always understand. Um, so there's a lot of fear generated with them as well. Um, and I actually talked to a, a therapist in America that um, works in this field, and she told me of her own experience where she walked into the lounge room and standing directly in front of her was this huge reptilian being. But for her, it wasn't a, um, a scary thing. She, she felt great love emanating from this reptilian being, and she found herself being drawn to it and actually embracing this being before it literally just disappeared. But it seems to be very real and very tangible for some people when they're feeling um, a sexual response and this heavy weight on their bodies sometimes. But many also see them on the craft doing various tasks along with, you know, the greys or humanoids as well. 
do you think that they mean you any harm or, or they're trying to get a message across? There is a lot of debate about the reptilians. What are the reptilian genders? You know, some people think that they're evil creatures which actually dominate this planet. They rule the Illuminati. They rule our leaders. Some people say that they feed off our emotions. The Gnostics, the original followers of Christianity, have that belief. Um, others say that they actually are part of ourselves, part of our psychic, if, if everything's connected. Others saying they're beings put here to make us overcome our fear because there is a belief that fear itself is the limiting fence between our conscious mind and our subconscious mind.